what's up youtube it's leah i'm back again and you know how i do it quick and easy i'm gonna show you guys how i made these cute little spotify tiktok music keychains whatever you want to call it you guys before i get into the video i need you guys to subscribe go down and subscribe i thank you all who have watched my videos the views are there but i need those subscribers y'all i need the subscribers to get the youtube coin so please subscribe to my channel and comment down below talk to me tell me what you guys want to see if you have any questions i interact back with everyone so you all check it out and another note you guys i do use cricut design space to create my little things i don't know much about the microsoft softwares i don't use that but hopefully this can help those who have access to cricut you can also download cricut design space without even having a cricut machine because i did not use the cricut to cut these i did them by hand so still download it if you want to use this process y'all so today i'm going to be showing you all how i do my version of the little spotify keychains i started to put people's actual pictures on there whatever they wanted you can still use actual songs but this is how i did mine i've seen a few similar videos so what i do is go ahead and upload the customer's photo into your Cricut design space. Okay, and upload it to the mat. And it usually comes really huge. I just bring it down to like three for the meantime. Okay, and then how I create the image that's gonna go inside of the keychain ring, I click shapes and I go to square. My keychain rings are like two inches by, I don't know, well, one and a half inches roughly to two inches. So my measurements I use, and I also put the link to those keychain rings from Amazon in the link down below. I do 1.25 in width and 1.75 in height, okay? But I don't start off that small because I have to see what I'm doing. So I just go ahead and make it big at first. And I usually just um, match the background to what the person is wearing in the picture. Like she has like a light gray on. So I just go to colors and I just probably make it a little lighter, not too, not too um, dark. I think that'll work. Center back. Okay, and then I size that up a little, make it a little smaller. Okay, as far as the music player, I already have it uploaded into my Cricut. However, I got this from Etsy. I think I paid like $1.89 for this. Okay, and it also actually came with the one that has the play button, which I think I wanna use that one instead. One has the pause and one has the play. So we'll go ahead and use the play button and I bring it down to size here. The song that she wanted was, let me go into my text messages. Okay, she wanted Bad Bitch Anthem by Young M.A. So I go ahead and I put, um, I usually try to do it like most music players. They usually have the name of the song at the top and the artist underneath. So I'll put Bad B Anthem. I usually bring in my letter spacing a little bit just because I think it looks neater. Bring it on down to size. Put it here this is really no precise measuring it's just really what you think looks good you know and then I go ahead and do young ma 
and then I do my 0 0.8 letter spacing again and I bring it on down to side. Oh, I put your MA. Wow. Okay, bring it back, bring it back. Young MA. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, so young MA, bad B anthem. And I just figure out, you know, okay, bring it down a little bit, play with the picture to your liking if you want it wider, if you want it narrow. I think that looks good. That's the one, y'all. I think that's about to be it. Okay, so then this is important, guys. You have to make sure you group everything. Group it. And the most important thing is you have to go down to the bottom here and click flatten. Because if you don't flatten the image, you're going to get like as if you were cutting it like a print, like a, not a print cut, but a cut. You don't want that. You just want a whole image just like this. Okay. So now I'm going to resize it to my 1.25 by my 1.75. And that's that. And I do front and back. So I usually either just duplicate it in the mat or just to make it easier when I get to the copy page, I click two project copies and apply. And then I send it to my printer. And I'm going to show you guys how I cut it and put it inside of the keychain ring. Alright y'all, so this was one that I had did previously. I didn't record myself, same exact concept, same exact style. I went ahead and changed the client's background on the video I showed you guys because I realized she had like a soft flower thing going on because I also add the resin letters to my charm, well, to my keychain bundles, whatever. You guys can follow me on Instagram at The Craft Cove. That's my business page. Okay, I got these from Amazon. They came like 30 in a pack for like $23. I'll put the link in the description down below and you guys it's so simple you cut it out I cut that by hand and you just put it on in and you pop the top on and there you have it you can make these in really like 15 minutes sell them make them for yourself make them as a gift purchase them for me if you want to you guys comment like and subscribe I talk back I interact if you have any questions let me know y'all later